Why James Harden changes everything for the Clippers. Not too long ago, the Clippers were able to acquire James Harden in an absolutely shocking deal. And at this point, the Clippers have built themselves their own version of a big three, consisting of Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, and now James Harden. And in my opinion, I think this addition changes a lot for this Clippers team. And I think they're that much closer now to winning an NBA championship than they were prior to this deal. But quickly, before we get the video started, for those of you who may not know, I'm Juicy Sports, I make opinionative NBA content, and if you guys enjoy videos similar to this, hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that post notification bell. I also want to quickly mention that I recently started up an MMA channel, and if you guys are interested in that, the link will be in the description. But anyways, let's get into it. Ever since acquiring Kawhi Leonard, the LA Clippers have been in a very interesting situation. They've been one of those teams that when you look at the talent they actually have, they're always going to be considered a championship contender, but when you look at the success or their lack thereof success they were able to have ever since acquiring Kawhi, there just hasn't been all that much to it. Yeah, they made the playoffs a lot of those seasons, yeah, they made it past the first round, but in terms of actually living up to those championship expectations, they haven't gotten all that close to be honest. And I made a video recently talking about why I thought the Clippers should move on from both Kawhi Leonard and Paul George and just completely restart. Because at that point, I thought the Clippers were in a similar situation to what the Utah Jazz were in in the past. Where they had two stars, they clearly had a lot of talent on the roster and they were good enough to make the playoffs each and every year. But once it came down to it, they were just not good enough to win an NBA championship. And I thought it would be very difficult for the Clippers to pivot and make some other moves in order to push themselves closer to a championship victory. But obviously, Obviously, as we know as of late, the Clippers not only didn't decide to move on from their star players in Kawhi and Paul George, but they decided to bring in another superstar in James Harden. Now when you look at the deal, I actually think it is somewhat of a favorable one for the Clippers, as they were able to not only get Harden, but also able to acquire PJ Tucker, who in my opinion is going to be a really good role player for this Clippers team, and in exchange they needed to give up Marcus Morris, Robert Covington, Nick Batum, KJ Martin, and a couple of picks. Now some of the guys that they moved on from of course do provide some nice depth some nice offensive ability some nice defensive ability but at the end of the day when you're able to acquire a guy in James Harden that obviously still at this point has a capability to put up 20 or 25 points on any given night it's definitely a deal that you would like to take but at the same time although I do think it is somewhat of a favorable deal for the Clippers at the same time I still think it is somewhat of a risky one and what I mean by that is I think either a it can go in the right direction Harden can fit in nicely with both Kawhi and Paul George and the Clippers could play a lot better during the regular season and most importantly get a lot further once it comes down to the playoffs and hopefully win a championship for their sake. But if things don't pan out, let's say some of their guys get injured like Harden, Kawhi, or Paul George, or maybe they just don't mesh together all that well and the Clippers aren't able to win a championship in the near future, then I think it would actually be a pretty big failure just due to the fact that they needed to give up a bunch of draft picks. Because at that point, if you bring in James Harden and you still can't can't win an NBA championship, it's pretty clear that you need to trade away your main guys, blow things up, and just head in the direction of a rebuild. And at that point, if you moved on from some of the draft picks that you would have had prior, of course it's not something that you would necessarily love. But a question that some of you may be wondering at this point is which one of those two scenarios do I see the Clippers going in? Well in my opinion, I think it's close. When you look at the Clippers, they haven't really been a team that's been all that successful, at least in terms of making it to an NBA Finals, or getting even all that close to it, and also when you look at James Harden over the years, he hasn't necessarily had all that much success with a bunch of different teams that he played for, whether you talk about the Houston Rockets, the Brooklyn Nets, or more recently, the Philadelphia 76ers. So there definitely are a lot of negatives going into this move, but at the end of the day, I do think if James Harden is ever able to win an NBA championship on a team that he's a huge part of, I think it's probably going to be on this Clippers team. And the reason why I say that is although Harden did have some star power on some other teams he was on, the expectations going into some of those new situations that he was going into, whether you talk about the Brooklyn Nets or more recently the Philadelphia 76ers, the expectations were just so much higher. And at this point, going to the LA Clippers, I think a lot of people have kind of given up on James Harden just due to the fact that he requests a trade all the time, it seems. It seems that he's injured quite a bit. And even when you look at his play on the court last season and maybe even the season prior to that, we really haven't seen the James Harden evolve. But in a weird way, I do think due to the 
lower expectations that Harden and the Clippers for that matter are probably going to have alongside with the fact that as I mentioned before you're going to have Kawhi Leonard and Paul George there to pick up a little bit of the slack if James Harden isn't necessarily fully healthy or isn't necessarily playing at the same level that he was prior. I think all those factors would only benefit Harden in the long run during the regular season by giving him the ability to rest some games to keep him healthy but once it comes down to playoff time now you're talking about a roster that has three legitimate superstars and Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, and James Harden. And no matter what happened in the past for the Clippers, and no matter what happened in the past for James Harden, when you talk about a roster that consists of those type of players, that team is always going to be extremely dangerous in the playoffs, and hopefully for their sake, they're not only able to make it to the NBA Finals, but they're able to win an NBA Championship. But now, the next question that some of you may be wondering at this point are, what are my specific expectations for the Clippers this season? So I think during the regular season, it's going to be a little bit interesting. The Clippers at this point have have three different guys that have been known to take a lot of load management during the regular season. So I fully expect the Clippers to be good, but maybe not as good as people would expect when you talk about a team that has three superstars on the roster. I think the Clippers could end the year by being a top six or a top five seed in the Western Conference, but once it comes down to the playoff time, you would fully hope and fully expect all three of their guys to be healthy. And if all three of their star players are healthy going into the playoffs, the sky's really the limit for this team. Although, as I mentioned, James Harden and the LA Clippers haven't had all that much success in the past, at the end of the day, I think when you combine these two forces together, they will be able to do some damage once it comes down to playoff time. I would fully expect them to make it past the first round. I would also expect them to make it past the second round. I guess it would be interesting to see who they end up playing, and that would be a real determining factor on whether or not they can make it past there. But after making it past the second round, my expectations would probably end there. Now, in terms of where I think they could potentially go, I think the Clippers could actually make it to the NBA Finals, and I wouldn't be surprised whatsoever if they're able to win the championship this season. But in terms of my expectations for this team, I definitely don't have that high of expectations for this roster. Although I will say when you bring in an extra superstar to a team that already had two, your expectations are always going to be a championship or bust, at least within the organization. But due to those factors that I mentioned before, it's definitely not something I'm expecting. But if at the end of this season and at the end of next season, if the Clippers aren't able to win a championship, at that point, I think it's finally time to move on from all their stars in Harden, Kawhi, and Paul George because at that point if you're not able to win a chip with three stars on your roster in a two-year sample size I think it's pretty clear that things are just not working out for you. Whatever the reasoning is whether it's injuries whether it's coaching whether it's just general play on the court regardless of what the issues are at that point I think it's pretty clear that things are just not going to work out and you're not going to win an NBA championship with that same roster going forward so probably the best avenue for the Clippers to go at at that point would just be to move on from everybody, try to get as many draft picks and young players as they possibly can and go forward from there. But I guess only time will tell what does end up happening for James Harden and the Clippers. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think the addition of James Harden completely changes this Clipper roster or do you not think so? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did enjoy, check one of these two videos popping up now and until the next time, peace out guys.